It's a love, it's a love of a game that I've had ever since I was small. It was born in the yard with my dad with a glove and a bat and a bow. It's a love, it's a love of a game that I'm trying to explain. From the ghost of the past to the legends that last. It's a love, it's a love of the game. I love baseball. The 1950s. That was a simpler time in America. For many young people, transportation meant your bike or the bus. It was a time when there were two TV channels, maybe three, but only if your antenna was aimed just right. And there was a time for most boys when summer meant baseball. I made a journey back in time to a place where the boy who still lives inside me once played baseball. I heard the talk of summer days in wooden bats and flannel uniforms, and I realized that we are all still boys. The first foreign language I learned was baseball. I was eight the first time I played. I stood at the plate holding a huge Louisville slugger. Hold the green up, somebody hollered, and choke up on the bat. Then somebody shouted, there are ducks on the pond, and don't put your foot in the bucket. The first pitch came and I closed my eyes and swung and heard somebody say Texas leaguer as I ran to first base. Then my coach said, oh no, shoestring catch. As I sat on the sidelines, I heard, oh for one. Then as our team took the field, someone said, hey kid, you're the hind catcher. I had no idea what they were talking about, any of it. But I soon learned to speak the language of baseball fluently. Okay, it's a payoff pitch, give him a roundhouse. My first hero was never on a baseball card. He never played at Crosley Field or Abbots Field. I never saw him on our black and white TV. My first hero, I can still hear his voice as he would say to me, let's go throw some. I'm attracted to sporting goods stores, the way some men are attracted to hardware stores. There's something about baseball gloves and spikes that turns me into a kid again. When I smell glove leather, I see my first glove, and I can tell you exactly where I was when I got it. And as I recall my first real baseball spikes, steel spikes, I remember how that was a coming of age moment for me. The only comparable feeling was getting my driver's license a few years later. And guess where I drove on my first solo trip? To the big ballpark with my glove and spikes in the back seat. I went back to the big ball field, just me. No one else was around. And then I saw a boy there, but the boy did not see me. Quietly, I watched from a distance as the boy flawlessly fielded ground balls. 
And then he stepped to the plate and hit a ball in the gap. And he ran the bases with speed I can only imagine today. As the boy stood on second base, dusting off his pants, I dared go closer. And I finally saw the boy's face. And then I realized that the boy was me. Just like yesterday 